President Obama, when he met the Queen, he gave her an iPod loaded with uh, his speeches. Uh, I think even if you build uh, by the iPod with the extra large gigabyte storage, you can actually only get uh, two Obama speeches on it, on a, one iPod. Maybe you can get two Obama speeches and one very short third speech on it. Uh, but I would love to know, as the Queen celebrates 60 years on the throne, where the iPod... I mean, that's a great gift, isn't it? Think of... Think of how much your loved one would appreciate it if you were if you gave if you gave to someone as a gift for their birthday you gave them an iPod with your speeches on it isn't that just the perfect gift wouldn't you like I mean with Valentine's Day coming up people talk about you know the candy and the flowers and the romantic candle at dinner but isn't it true that that your spouse would really just appreciate an iPod with you talking for hours and hours on end on it. Isn't that just the perfect gift for, for someone special in your life? That's what President Obama uh, gave Her Majesty the Queen. I would love to know where that iPod is and whether the Queen in Buckingham Palace, like she's today, she's celebrating 60 years on the throne. She thinks, well, I really, you know, I'm sure they could throw me a big dinner or everything, but I really, I'd like to just to spend a quiet night in listening to, listening to that nice Barack Obama's speeches on that iPod he gave me. That would be the perfect way to celebrate the 60th anniversary of my accession to the throne. I'd love to know where that iPod with the uh, with Obama's speeches on it, is it like you know? I don't. I hesitate to raise this question, but you know how it is. Sometimes when you get a Christmas present, you don't particularly want that. Someone gives you a Christmas present you don't particularly want, and you wait a couple of months, and you got a birthday coming up for somebody, and you think, well, maybe I can shuffle off that lousy Christmas present that I didn't really want on them. You know, you can. What do they call it here? Regifting. Is that what they call it? Regifting. Uh, maybe you could re-gift someone with that present you didn't really want. And I wonder sometimes if out there there's an obscure member of the royal family, um, I don't know who, her, her royal highness, her royal highness uh, the uh, Duchess of Gloucester or the Earl of Ulster, or one of these very minor members of the royal family who on his birthday uh, six months ago unwrapped the present from the queen, from his cousin or his great-grandmother or whatever, and discovered that she'd re-gifted him with the iPod with Barack Obama's speeches on. But I would love to know where that uh, that is. But but if, you, if you're... <laughs> Mike has just suggested <laughs> that if she had a sense of humor, she'd give it to Hugo Chavez. <laughs> That's true. Uh, That's true. That's true. I hope she does do that. I'd like to think she'd maybe give it to Basher Assad and he'd just fly into an even bigger rage. Or she'd, he, she'd give it to that guy Tantawi in Cairo and he'd put even more Americans on trial. Anyway, who knows? I'd love to know where that iPod with the fully loaded with Barack Obama speeches in is, uh, because that uh, that is the perfect gift. And if you're thinking, as I said, for, for, for Valentine's Day, for your loved one, for your loved one, don't go with the chocolates. Don't go with the bouquet of roses. Don't go with, you know, the candlelight dinner, the, the lights down low, uh, a bottle of wine, you know, Johnny Mathis on the hi-fi. The, the chicks don't, the chicks don't dig any of that stuff. What they want is a speech, an iPod fully loaded with Barack Obama speeches. You are going to have a real hot night. If you give your loved one that, you're going to need a Nancy Pelosi-sized condom drawer just for all the action you're going to be getting that night after giving your loved one the iPod fully loaded with Barack Obama speeches. So I would love to know where that is. If you're a Buckingham Palace footman and you're listening and you've got the inside scoop on where that thoughtful gift, the Barack Obama iPod, is right now, give us a call. 1-800-282-2882. Mark Stein, Infrarush on the EIB Network. 